a good morning to one and all so today we are going to discuss about one of the most important part of our software engineering languages and processor for requirement specifications as you all know what is the part of software engineering software engineering the main part is development and the maintenance in the place of development number of phases are there the phases are analysis phase design phase implementation phase uh, test phase and maintenance phase out of these things uh, mainly we are going to discuss about languages and process for requirement specification this is in a part uh, this can takes place in our analysis phase that is in a first part so what do you, what do you mean by languages and processor for requirement specification what are the languages are used to consider requirement specifications so that is the main part in this place a number of special purpose languages and processor have been developed to permit concise statements and automated analysis of requirement specification for software some specification languages are graphical in nature while others are textual all these things are takes place either uh, two forms as i already mentioned that automated or manually our purpose is to provide a brief introduction to requirement specification language and the processor so there are number of languages are available in your software engineering first one is prob psl psu problem statement language corresponding problem statement analyzer and then second one is requirement statement languages and corresponding uh, revs requirement engineering validation systems and then third one is sa dt structured analysis and design techniques it is also called sa structured analysis and then fourth one structured system analysis it is sc and then last one just all the above five languages can have its own characteristics some of them can takes place manually some of them can takes place automatically and some of them can takes place graphical or some of them can takes place textual in nature so for the above first we are discuss about problem statement language this was developed by professor daniel tekro at the university of michigan the problem statement analyzer is the problem statement language processor psl and psa were developed as component of ies dos project PSL is based on general model of the system this model describes a system and a set of objects where each objects may have properties and each property may have property values object may be interconnected the connections are called relationship and then PSL system divided into eight major aspects they are system input output flow system structure data structure data derivation system size and volume system dynamics system properties and project management so the explanation for the eight cases the system input output flow aspects deals with the interaction between a system and its environment system structure is concerned with hierarchical amount objects what is the first one second one third one this is a hierarchical architecture we mention in this place data structures so it includes data structure aspects and the all relationship that exist among the data used and or manipulated by the systems as seen by the users of the systems data derivations the data derivation aspects of the system description specifies which data objects are involved in particular processes in the systems size and volume system size it is concerned with the size of the systems and those factors that influence the volume of processing required dynamic a system can change the manner in which the system behaves over time 
So that is the main part. When project management aspects requires that the project related information as well as product project product informations be provided. This involves identification of the people involved, their responsibilities, schedules, cost estimation, etc. System properties. It specifies the properties if the system object. PSL is an automated analyzer for processing requirement stated in PSL, PSA and PSL. So the PSA system can provide a report in four categories. Database modification reports, reference report, summary report, analysis report, structured report. This is a diagram in Nielsen regarding PSA. So the internal part of this part, PSL and then outer we have OS, the input is a PSL and the output is a various kinds of reports are there. All these things are stored in our analysis database, command in command languages enter into the control. Database modification, whatever changes are considered, reports are stored in our database modification report, reference report, what are the reference report, name list reports, it could be discussed. Formatted problem statements, there are two types of reports are there. The formatted problem statement report, dictionary report provides a data dictionary, summary report, database summary report provides the project management information by listing the total number of objects of various types and how much has been said about these cases. And then RSL. This was developed by DRW, the funds and the space systems needed to permit concise unambiguous specification of requirements for real-time software systems. RSL, REVS are component of system software requirement. <coughs> Sorry. Engineering methodology. RSL has four primitive concepts, element, attributes, relationship, and structures. And then followed by these cases. So this is a diagram for requirement engineering validation systems. It has three parts. Components are translator and ISSM and a set of automated tools are there. Translator which is used to translate. Uh, RSL, uh, uh, translator for RSL and then centralized database abstraction system semantic models are there. And then corresponding outputs are there. These are the automated tools for processing information in ASL. And then third one, SADT, structured analysis and design technique. SADT incorporates a graphical language and a set of methods and management guidelines for using the language. SADT language is called the languages of structured analysis. Regarding this part, I already mentioned that what is the importance of SA. The SA language and the procedure for using it are similar to the engineering blueprint system used in a civil and mechanical engineering. So just like what we did earlier in our civil and mechanical blueprint, the same type of mechanisms are considered. An SADT model consists of an ordered set of SA diagram. Each diagram is drawn on a single page. And each diagram must contain three to six nodes. Plus interconnecting arcs. The two basic types of SA diagrams are the activity diagram and the data diagram. So the first two diagrams are activity diagram. The next two rows are data diagrams. There are four flows are the input, output, control section and the processor. How it could be takes place in this model. And then th third one. Sorry. Uh, fourth one is structured system analysis, SSA. Two similar so, uh, version of SSA was described by Gane and Sarson and by D. Marco. SSA is used primarily in traditional data processing environment. SADT, SSA is incorporated database concepts. There are four basic features in SSA. Data flow diagram, as you all know, 
what do you mean by data flow diagram, data dictionary, procedure logic representation, data store structuring techniques. Data flow diagram, SSA data flow diagrams are similar to SADT actigram, but they do not indicate mechanisms and control and an additional notation is used to show data stores. Data dictionaries, that is in the place to define and record data elements, physiology representation such as decision table and structured English are used to specify algorithmic processing details. Procedure logic representations are used to precisely specify processing sequencing terms that are understandable to customers and developers. Important feature of SSA. Relational model is to use it to specify data flow and data source. Relations are composed from the field of data records. The fields are called the domains of the relations. If regarded as n fields, the corresponding relation is called an n pool. And the last one, GIST. This was developed by UESC Information Science Institute by Arl Balser and colleagues. It is in a text language based on relational model of objects and attributes. It is in a specification, it is a formal description of valued behavior of the systems. It consists of three parts. Specification of object types and the relationship between these types. This determines a set of possible states. A specification of action and the demands which defines transition between possible states. Specification of constraints and state and transitions. So, this is an overall condition for languages and the processor for requirement specification, especially in your software engineering. So, thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.